Hello, this is Ken from the Computer Clan, and today on the Tech Stage, we are going to be talking about the future of Windows. As some of you may know, Microsoft's Build Conference is coming up April 2014, and we're going to be seeing some great things there. We may be seeing an update to Windows 8.1, possibly 8.2, and we might see a glimpse into the future with Windows 9. Now, before we get into all of that, Windows 8, first of all, is not doing the best, as we know. There's actually more XP users than there are Windows 8 users right now. Windows 8 was supposed to be an all-in-one system. You know, the modern UI interface with the tiles and everything combined with the desktop environment. And it was supposed to be great for tablets, laptops, desktops, two-in-ones, all devices on one version of Windows. That was the philosophy behind Windows 8, but it has received a lot of criticism. So Microsoft fixed up some of the things in Windows 8, like adding the Start button back with Windows 8.1, and it was their idea to have a rapid release schedule with that. Well, now it seems like they may not be doing that for much longer because they're going to go to Windows 9, change the number, change the name, change the reputation. Possibly. So there are some philosophies behind Windows 8 that are being changed with Windows 9. There may be three different flavors of Windows 9, and it may not be an all-in-one kind of system. There may be a version geared towards traditional desktop users. Taskbar, Start button, Start menu, Desktop. And there may be one that is geared more towards the modern UI people, especially tablet users. And there will be a version, most likely, that is geared just for professional and enterprise use. So Windows 9 potentially could be three different flavors of Windows because, in a way, one size does not fit all. Now, there is a concept done by a person out on the internet that I think is really interesting and I will be sharing it with you. It's done by a guy who goes by the name of Technofau, and if I blew your name, I'm so sorry if I just totally butchered that. But anyway, this guy is a great website that shows concepts for a lot of different pieces of software. And the Windows one is my favorite. It's called Fixing Windows 8, and it shows some concepts that Microsoft should do if they want to make Windows 8 better, or possibly save them for Windows 9. So as you can see, you can switch between the modern UI environment and the desktop environment, and just choose which one you want to use. He simulates that on a surface here. Also, the Start menu has the regular shape of a Start menu, or you could even have it in horizontal mode but it has the interface of the modern UI environment with the tiles. But instead of it taking up the whole screen, it just takes up a small part of the screen. Personally, I think that is pretty neat. He also shows an interface change where modern UI apps, instead of running in full screen or snapped, they can actually run as a window on the desktop, and this looks pretty neat too. And actually, there is an application that does that. It's called Modern Mix, if you are not aware. It takes a full screen modern UI app and runs it in a window on the desktop. That's what Modern Mix does, and that's kind of like what this part of the concept is showing. And rumor has it that Microsoft may even put that in the system itself. So this may be an actual thing with Windows 9, just to help people who kind of want the nice new environment of Modern, but they also want to use more of the traditional desktop together. So making it work together is the tricky part, but they may be able to dig themselves out of the hole that they built with Windows 8, and maybe get back on the horse with Windows 9. It kind of seems to be like that, doesn't it? It's like every other version kind of flops, but then every other version is great. Like Millennium Edition wasn't the best. XP was pretty solid. Vista, once again, wasn't received too well. 7 was pretty solid. 8, yeah, once again, more criticism, but 9, well, if they keep going by this pattern, 9's gonna be just the most glorious piece of something that we ever see in the PC market. And honestly, I'm pretty excited because I don't have a problem with Windows 8, but I can see where people don't like it. Because under the hood, there's some really nice changes and new features as well. And it's faster. I mean, I've noticed it's way faster than 7. But the interface, the most important part is the interface. And if people don't like it, and if people can't figure out how to use it, well, you only use what you understand. If it doesn't look good and you don't know what to do, you're not going to use it. So Windows 9 may fix that, and we may see a full release in April of 2015. But until then, we may get some updates to Windows 8.1. So what do you think Microsoft should do? Should they get rid of the modern UI completely and just keep it on mobile phones and maybe tablets? Should they keep doing what they're doing now? Or should they do kind of like what this concept is showing? Because this concept is pretty nice. If that's what Windows 9 is like, 
Well, you already have me on that. I'd buy that right away. It looks so awesome. Because like I said, I don't have a problem with 8 right now. So let me know what you think in the comments section. And thank you for watching the tech stage. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with more Real Deal videos and click that like button if you liked the video. In addition, check out our largest production to date. It is now available, you do not want to miss this. And if you want to see more content from us, or apply for a YouTube partnership, visit us on our other great websites.